Hello guys, um, today I'm going to do an update on my orchids in bloom and spike and also some other um, plant that I have in bloom. Just wanted to show you all my bloom, all my plants in bloom and spike. So I'm going to start with this lovely dendrobium. This is dendrobium, um, I think it's uh, farm rye times by um, Graffitianum, I think, but I'm not sure because I lost the tag, I don't know where my tag's gone, <laughs> so uh, I can look at my other videos and if, if it wasn't then I'll, I'll um, uh, write the name, correct name in the description. So as you can see this is lovely um, clustery bloom, I really like all this yellow and white blooms looks like daffodils very nice cluster of bloom and once it started um, a little tiny spike over there uh, it grows really fast about a month and um, the spike grows and you can get the flower flowers are not very long lasting about two weeks this has been open for a few days now so I thought I'd make a video and show you guys uh, as uh, long as it's very nice and freshly uh, opened. So it's really lovely uh, bloom, long cluster of bloom. No, no fragrance, but it's so nice and it make up for the fragrance. The beautiful bloom. Uh, so next one I have my dendrobium um, polysema times by aberrance this lovely tiny blooms um, I've got I had one I had three or four in this one two one of them blasted one of them finished now I've got two left but they are long lasting really long lasting uh, blooms um, this one didn't bloom for me last year because I repotted it and it took a year off um, to recover and um, bloom again. But it blooms in the old canes, so um, this one is probably two years ago. Uh, so um, every new cane uh, won't bloom, then the old ones will bloom like after one or two years. Um, so that's that. Next one, I have uh, Dendrobium nobili, no ID. This one, um, this is the third time blooming for me. It's not that many this time because I had a lot of blooming in, um, I think, in November or. I don't know February. Uh, I'm not sure. Have to look. Um, but this is the third time blooming, and uh, as you can see, this cane uh, has got lots of bud to go, and the other cane as well. I have another um, no ID dendrobium um, nobili, uh, which is uh, again doing the same thing, third time blooming. For me this year because of the I don't know weather it's been hot cold hot cold and that triggers the blooming I think but always blooms from the nodes that hasn't been bloomed before so for example this new cane it's got these buds in it so these nodes can bloom maybe later on so as you can see every old cane had bloom uh, on every node of it and they they appear as double or triple oh I just noticed this something <laughs> this little thing is kind of a kiki it's growing a uh, root in there and it has bloomed so it's kind of a strange <laughs> uh, yeah it's one of those things so this will be a kiki after done blooming and can be, you know, um, divided and grown by itself. But anyway, that's that. 
These are my dendrobiums in bloom for the moment. Next, I have uh, my Phalaenopsis um, ambulensis, ambulensis variety Florida joys, and ties by Fal Dragon Tree Eagle 4N. This has been in bloom for a long, long time. So, as you can see, very beautiful blooms. I had two this year and they've been open for more than a month now about two months now I think and they don't even show any sign of withering um, I don't know how long they're gonna live but they've, they've been open for a long time so if the weather is colder they stay longer in flower Next, I have this Phalaenopsis No ID from a supermarket or from Marks and Spencer. I got it, and it was a fragrant um, Phalaenopsis, and it's grown a new spike. I'm very excited um, to see how the blooms are. You know that the fragrance is going gonna form this year, so uh, we'll see. Once once it's bloomed, uh, you know the Phalaenopsis. Um, spike takes so long to to grow about two three months so it has been in this spike i think about a month now and um it's growing now so it's it's going to be a while until we see a bloom next one i have my fragmopedium um andean fire which i got from um ed's orchid last year and i've been looking at this for spike um, since last year <laughs> now I think I finally got spike in there so as you can see the, um, it's not very clear uh, in the camera but I can assure you I'm sure it's it's a spike in there uh, growing up so when it's grown a bit more I think I can show you but I was so excited I just thought I, I'm gonna show you uh, and you know monitor the progress of this uh, lovely fragmentpedium next thing in bloom is uh, it's not the orchid it's it's my begonia it's begonia curly uh, fire flash it's got lovely bloom I just wanted to show you the bloom it's got three blooms and that one is a new one and this one just and the last but not least of them all is this my lovely uh, this one's dry uh, African violet called uh, African violet mess crinkle blue so it's very nice flower very desirable double with uh, white edges um, and lovely leaves um, this one has done blooming but it had lots of lovely um, purple blooming as well so this one is African Violet Cupid's Jewel um, I think I posted the pictures in the, in the Instagram but I'm a bit late for filming it, but it was lots and lots of uh, purple um, blooms. So, yeah, that's, that's where I keep my begonia uh, on my window seal, bedroom window seal. And um, I keep my African violets here as well. There's one Hoya there. And my nobilies here so yeah that's it for today and i hope you enjoyed uh, my tiny uh, update for uh, what's in bloom in my house at the moment if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and also uh, subscribe uh, for more updates like this thank you for watching